Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here to share in this wonderful occasion. As all the pastors would have known sister Frederica, I spent some time with her. Now I've been told, I've been warned that there will be many speeches at night. Yeah, let me tell you, you have address on this program, first it was sermon. <laughs> they changed it to address and I like that. It means I have a little more freedom. I'll tell you this. I in my I'm glad all of you told us you are telling your story, a wonderful story of knowing her. Um, I am not going to try to convert her. No, she heard me on for many years. I'm not going to try to convert her. It's too late. No, she's converted already. <laughs> I'm not going to try to counsel her because she could counsel all of us. All right? I am not going to advise her about anything. Well, what am I doing here then? For all of you, you presented flowers, you have your cake, you, you, you spoke about us. I want to talk to you. I want to talk, spend my little time to talk to those of us who are, some of us are very close to 100, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We are very close to 100, others are not too far away from the 100. All right. Now you're talking about medals, let me tell you something. She got her bronze medal, I'm using the language of the Paris or Olympics that is about to close now in the next two days. She got her bronze medal when she was 70. She got her silver medal when she was 80. And she is, we are honoring her today because she has achieved gold. So that's yeah. very important. <laughs> and as some of you honor Miss, your worship premier, you've never went to anybody who celebrated 100. I say the same thing. Mayor, I have been in 48 churches in Trinidad for many years, since 1967. 48 churches don't mean a church here and a church next door. 48 communities from Aaron Road, Thackeray, Gore, Woodbrook, you name it. You know, 48 churches mean 48 communities. It includes San Fernando and Portersmith. You know, I really never went to <laughs> I, I we, did, we did all kinds of birthday parties in 1999 and 1998. But this court is, is, is excellent, it's important for me. All of you would say a lot of nice things about her. I want to say one thing. Trinidad is a land of endless confusion. That is why we are not making progress. We have confusion in, in we have confusion in the group, the women's group, the men's group, right? In the community center, all over the place we have confusion. And I tell you something in my church. <laughs> but one of the things I have noticed about this lady, she is never given to confusion. Never, never have I known her to be good speaking anyway. This is something that stays with me. All the nice things you have said, I applaud you and endorse what you say. She, her pleasantness is always infectious. This is a nice lady. She is wonderful. She's a, a great example of, of how we must live. There's a pleasantness about this lady that is a hundred years old. And there are some of us, I know there are people here, they don't know how to be pleasant. They don't know how to be nice. I don't know what's wrong with us. Something is wrong with our personality too and our choices. Right? So I, I think this is one lesson. For all of us who are on the way, we young people are not so old. There are two things I want to tell you about your life. Now remember, I'm not speaking to her. Eh? Because she could say, wait, tell me, I know that already. <laughs> I want to talk to young people like myself. There are two views of life. And one I will call the Shakespeare view. And there are some different ideas I like this. Eh? The Shakespeare view is found in Macbeth, one of his books, one of his plays. And Shakespeare says, listen to this, there are some people who think that they must, this must be their, their style of living. Shakespeare said, life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. And there are some people who believe that, and they live like that. And for those of us who are moving on, counting our birthdays, don't worry with the Shakespeare view of life. Life is a, a tale told by an idiot. I was just reading some of these guys. They say, is either Shakespeare was an idiot or Macbeth was an idiot? Because God did not make this world like that. When he made us, he, he saw that it was good. Oh, you could say, well, why would you choose any one of us? 
Why would you choose to live a life that is negative and think that life is meaningless? Why would you do that? Then you fly in the face of God. And don't tell me if you have a little pressure and we like, don't tell me it has always been so. God created us and he saw it was good and you keep it so in your choices. So that's the very negative approach to life, thinking that we can not in life again. You know, we eat, drink, be merry, and that's it. Let me tell you, that's a big lie. And there's a positive way, that's a negative way, and in your life, in the, your choices, and in the life we live and the time we live, I like to call this the Longfellow style. There was a poet named H.W. Longfellow. And he says, it is as though he is, is as though he is replying to Shakespeare. Shakespeare to say, says, life is so full of sound and fury and is the story of an idiot. No. Longfellow says, and he said, though he was talking to Shakespeare, it is as though, as though he was answering him. He was though, it, it is as though he's answering some of us who want to give up on living because of the problems that we have. And Longfellow says, do not tell me, how paraphrase it, tell me not in mournful song and mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream. Do not ever feel that life is an empty dream. No, 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 no. It is not. No, not at all. A few days ago, a few days ago, somebody sent a message on my WhatsApp. I remember the two news, eh? The old man idiot says Shakespeare. Full of sound and fury and they are not again in life. Don't worry about that one. And somebody sent me this one, which I will read it for you because I like it. Sent me about three days ago on my WhatsApp. I'm going to look at messages on our WhatsApp and I have a feeling you got it too. And he says, life is so damn beautiful, if even it is hard sometimes. I want to say that slowly. I don't know the author. It just came on my WhatsApp about a few days ago. Life is so damn beautiful, if even it is hard sometimes, even if you crave more than what you have right now, 